So hi everyone. Um, I've recently had a question about the Prado and the problems with the diesel particulate filter or the uh, DPF. So I thought I'd make a quick video to share my thoughts. Many of you may be aware that there's been a class action going on regarding DPFs and some of the problems Toyota have experienced with Prados and Hiluxes between 2015 and 2018. So let me first show you roughly where the DPF is. So it's actually not very easy to see, but the DPF is right down there in the exhaust system. Uh, you can probably just see it center left of the picture to the left of the engine block. Um, so what does this DPF actually do? Well, it's a metal canister and it's full of rare metals. And what happens is as your engine exhaust goes through it, it collects all these diesel particles. And over a period of time, which I'll explain in a minute, it actually turns these diesel particles into a cleaner exhaust gas. So what the DPF actually does is um, as you drive, um, as I said earlier, this diesel particulate matter collects in the DPF. And when it reaches a certain level, a self-cleaning auto regeneration process occurs. Now for this to actually occur, you really need to be driving greater than 60 k's an hour and you need to be driving somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. So ideally on a highway or on a freeway. So as you're driving in the car, there is a screen which you can flick to on the uh, console here. Uh, you can see I've switched to it on mine which shows you how full the diesel particulate filter is. So you can see on this sliding scale here, there's a number of bars. And currently my diesel particulate filter is showing exactly two bars. Now what I found on mine is when this gets to four bars, so halfway up the scale, slightly less than halfway up the scale, the actual process of regeneration starts automatically. So as I said previously, in an ideal situation for the diesel particulate filter to work properly, you need to be driving above 60 k's an hour for a period of about 20 to 30 minutes. And what you will see if you have this screen on is that the bars will slowly disappear as the filter regenerates and cleans itself. So I guess the question is what happens if you aren't actually able to drive at 60 kilometers an hour for 20 to 30 minutes. And this affects people, I guess, who live in the city and have a Prado or a Hilux, and they use it mainly for city driving. So for people who live in the city, what Toyota recommend is there is this manual switch, which is down here just beneath the dashboard. And what Toyota recommend is that you park your car and you leave the engine running obviously and you press this switch and what this switch does is it actually initiates a manual regeneration rather than an automatic generation of the dpf system so what you have to do is obviously if your filter warning system comes on and you haven't been highway driving you would park the car up you would leave the engine running press this switch and then it would manually induce a DPF clean. So guys, uh, just in summary, my experience with my Prado, and as I say, it's only done just over 3000 Ks, is that the uh, DPF system is working fine. Um, I haven't had to use the, uh, the manual switch and that's mainly because I do highway driving. So I think if you have a Prado or a Hilux and you live in the inner city and you don't do a lot of highway driving, if you're doing short trips, there may well be a need for you to use the manual regeneration switch. In my own experience, because I drive a lot on highways, I'm uh, regularly driving my car greater than 60 k's an hour 
for regularly more than 30 minutes so I've never had a problem and I have seen the automatic DPF system start regenerating on its own and it regenerates roughly every 300 caves so um, so far I've done about 3,000 caves and I've seen this uh, come on at least uh, 10 or 11 times during the time I've owned the car. So guys, I hope that answers the questions. Um, my experience is positive and I would suggest if you do have a problem with your DPF system that you talk to your local uh, Toyota dealer because I know that uh, my, uh, my dealer has been really good when I've asked any questions around it. All right guys, signing off. Hope that helps. Thanks.